In the world of paranormal mysteries, one doll has captured the imagination and fear of millions. The infamous Annabelle doll. Welcome to our YouTube video where we delve into the chilling reality behind this cursed object. The story of the Annabelle doll begins in the early 1970s, when a young nurse named Donna received it as a gift from her mother. Donna and her roommate Angie lived together in a small apartment in the suburbs. At first, the doll appeared to be nothing more than a harmless vintage Raggedy Ann doll. However, strange occurrences started happening, and it soon became evident that this innocent-looking toy was anything but. Donna and Angie reported that the doll seemed to move on its own, changing positions, and even found it in rooms they had not left it. They began finding messages written on parchment paper, which they hadn't placed. Fear crept into their lives, and they decided to seek help from paranormal investigators, Ed and Lorraine Warren. The moment we stepped into Donna's apartment, we knew this was no ordinary haunting. There was a malevolent presence attached to the doll. The Warrens discovered that the doll was not possessed, but rather manipulated by an inhuman spirit, a demonic force that sought to wreak havoc. They believed that the spirit used the doll as a conduit to exert its influence in the physical world. The Warrens decided to take possession of the Annabelle doll and placed it in their occult museum, a place where they stored various haunted and cursed objects. They performed rituals to keep the spirit contained, but even this didn't stop its malevolence. The Annabelle doll is a classic example of a dibuk or a malicious spirit seeking a host to possess. The energy surrounding the doll is intense, and people have reported feelings of dread and despair just by being near it. Over the years, visitors to the Warren Occult Museum claimed to experience eerie phenomena related to the doll. Some reported feeling a sudden drop in temperature or sensing an unseen presence watching them. Others claimed to have witnessed the doll's eyes moving or even glimpses of its shifting positions. However, in 2020, the Warren Occult Museum was closed and the Annabelle doll was taken into the Warren's private possession. Some speculate that the spirit is now free, while others believe that the Warren's rituals were effective enough to contain it. I went there, and the moment I saw the doll, I felt this overwhelming sense of dread, like something was watching me. I couldn't shake off the feeling that the doll's eyes were following me. It was an experience I won't forget. Despite the closure of the museum, the story of the Annabelle doll continues to captivate and terrify generations. It has become an icon of the supernatural, influencing popular culture and inspiring movies and books. However, skeptics argue that the claims surrounding the Annabelle doll are merely folklore and urban legends. They believe that the experiences attributed to the doll are a result of suggestion and the power of suggestion. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, the Annabelle doll has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on our collective consciousness. Its eerie presence reminds us that there are still mysteries in this world that we may never fully understand. If you dare to encounter the Annabelle doll yourself, proceed with caution, for its chilling presence has left many shaken and forever changed.